and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Haney, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Booyah. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about top three core exercises to reduce or stop back pain. You really need your core muscles of the back to stabilize your back. Um, in fact, we don't, we don't really want much movement going on in your spine when you're doing lifting and such. In fact, what we often use as a demonstration, the booyah stick, sure. by the way, uh, which let's, I'll go back to the demonstration in just a minute. By the way, if you're new to our channel, oh, please take yeah. a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you, you want to go to bobandbrad.com because right now we're doing a giveaway. Go to the giveaway section. We're giving away uh, some booyah sticks. So aren't you surprised, Brad? Well, Bob, you excited? I, I was – To your point, think Point that is I was confused. All right. We can also yeah, go to Bob and Brad on Facebook. There you go. It'll be there. And if you want a short version of it, go to Instagram or Twitter. Right. Yep. Yeah, these are wonderful, wonderful tools. Yeah, well, one thing you can use it for actually is to tell whether or not you're bending correctly. So when you want to lift something or if you're going to bend forward to make the bed or bend forward to brush your teeth at the sink, all this should be all together in, in alignment here. Do the other hand, Bob, because your arm oh, is yeah. in the way. I'm there you go. In the way, aren't I? Yeah, there you so, go. And put, put this way. Can you see the red? Yeah. The red? So there's, there's three points of contact. Do you want to point them out, Brad? Yep, I, I'm pointing, Bob. And th that puts your back in that neutral or straight alignment, and it forces you to bend at the hips and let your large hip muscles, the glute muscles, the quads do the work and not those small back muscles. Yeah, if I do it incorrectly, now look, I only have one point of contact. Yeah, we got the gap here, yep. the gap here. I'm rounded out. Now I'm putting stress on my back, and if I do that throughout the day, that's why you're going to have back pain. So we want to strengthen those muscles. So you got to, uh, it's pretty much like you're wearing a cast around right. your, your, yep. your uh, or that cast or your back belt, back right. brace, but your muscles literally are your back brace. Right. And you want to make sure it's your muscles doing the job and not a brace for you because right. the brace eventually your muscles get weak then. Right. You know, so, right. all right. So Brad, let's go ahead and get started here. The first one we want to do is we want to strengthen the front the side and the back yep. all the way around sure so the first one we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to lay down flat on our back i guess i'm going to brad's going to just slip i'm going to watch okay um, the, be, oh go ahead yeah. we're going to do this on a carpeted floor is probably the yeah. best it'd be too hard on the bed i think you'd sink in too mm -hmm. much yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my hands and put them in the low back here so as to maintain the arch mm -hmm. so that's about right where you want to be you want to have a that natural curve there and about the thickness of your fingers. Yep. And then I don't want the elbows to push up and help me out. So I'm going to let them float up. Right here. They're like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm not curling up like this. I'm bringing the head straight up that way. So you don't round that neck forward. Yep. And I'm bringing the shoulders slightly off. Right here. Yep. And I'm going to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, oh. six, seven, eight. That nine, is firm, nine. Bob. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Brad. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to keep repeating this and do, and actually, you can do six repetitions. So six, ten second repetitions. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm not going to take it all the way through six, but right. you do the six, then you rest for 20 seconds. Right. Then you can do a four. It's kind of reverse ladder. You're kind of going right. large to small. Mm -hmm. Six, four, and two reps. Yep. Now this, maybe it's going to be too hard for you the first time. Maybe you're going to have to do less than that right. to start off with. Right. Uh, but so the, the ten, you know, Bob's counting a little faster than seconds, but maybe that's One, all the longer two, you can three, hold it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I was starting to fade there. <laughs> all right. So that's the front. Let's go to the side. All right. Now we're going to get the muscles on the. On the side part of the abdomen and probably get the latissimus dorsi a little bit too. Sure. We're gonna start with the beginner position. So you're going to be on your side. You're going to be resting on your elbow. Your knees are forward like this. Now, I'm not just lifting up like this. I'm actually lifting, oops, doing this. I'm extending the hips. You right. see how I'm doing that? Yeah. 
I'm not lifting up like this. I'm extending the hips. You know, Bob, I, we really should turn you this way. The camera would have a better Would it view. be better? Just, yeah, yeah. Here. All right. The things we'll do. <laughs> All right. You sure this is going to work? No, you got to go the other way, Bob. Oh, the other way. Yeah. Okay. No, head, head that way. Okay. We're going to get this. We really planned this out. So, okay. Here we go. So you can see here, his, he's got this hook shape. You know, he's not in a straight line. And yep. then he, he, now he's straight. See, the hips are straight now. And go back down, Bob. And he puts his butt down like he's sitting sideways. Yeah, so I'm extending the hips. That's all I'm doing. I'm lifting it up. Now, I'm going to feel stress on the abdominal muscles here. You're going to hold for, again, for 10 seconds. We're keeping the same pattern here. So you're going to go for 10, and then you're going to repeat six times. Now, if your shoulder bothers you, you can grab, you take the other hand and pull across, and that'll give a little uh, support to the shoulder. Sure. And so you can go up like this. Now, the advanced one is, so we're going to go, again, do six reps, take rest for 20 seconds, four reps, rest for 20 seconds, and then two reps. Sure. Okay? And you're going to do that on each side. Right. So, yeah. Otherwise, you'll start growing crooked. Okay. Let's say you're, you're advanced. If you're advanced, you're going to go ahead and put the, right, the left foot in front of the right foot, and I'm going to go ahead and lift up like this now. So now, in which, this case, I am. Which leg is doing the support? They both are. Both are, okay. Yep. Now, this is a lot harder, without a doubt. Sure. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, oh. this is for people who don't have back pain to prevent it. Is that correct? No, you can have back pain and be doing these, but okay. it shouldn't hurt while you're doing these. No pain. Yeah. Right. But absolutely, you can be doing these, um, especially, you know, if you have back pain that's a little bit too advanced for you, yep. you would just go ahead and start with this one. Right. Absolutely, this is for people with back pain. We're trying to get that core strengthened so that the, you aren't feeling pain when you're using the, the back. Right. Because I know with my, my back condition, I, I won't do these because I know it'll hurt because I've tried them. But that's a spondylolisthesis, different story. But the concept Are you sure same. you've tried this one, though? I'm not these? doing them, Bob. <laughs> I, I've tried them. It hurts for a couple of days. Okay. I'm afraid I've got a I got a routine, Bob. I'll I'll show it. But you can do um you can do the abdominal one. We just the first oh, one. Oh right, yep. absolutely. It's yep. just the side ones you're unable to do them. Yeah. Okay. So the bird dog, can you do that? Oh one? yeah. All the right. Bird dog, bird dog for sure. So bird dog one. Now we're strengthening the muscles in the back itself. So if you're beginning to this again, you want to have your spine in the right position. And if you're beginning to this, you might want to just start off with the hand itself. Now, this looks like what's it going? What's he doing? Lifting his arm up. But the muscles all the way across here are engaging right now. And we goes to the second phase and lifts both arm and yeah, leg up. I can also just start with the leg, yep. a single leg. Am I, is my back fairly straight, yep. Brad? Yep. How does that look, Liz? Good. Yeah. Oh, my head yeah. was, yeah, there we go. If, if you have a mirror or someone to help you out so you do have good form, it's very helpful. Yeah, we really have poor body awareness overall, people do, and, and uh, right. some of you are going to even be yeah. worse than me. And uh, so it's good to get it uh, correct. And then eventually, yes, you're going to want to work to the point where this takes a little bit of balance. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit. And now, you know, I could just feel these muscles right here going to town. They're, they're working out good. And again, we're doing a 10-second hold. On these, because you're doing uh, 10 seconds on each side, we usually have do four reps, rest for 20 seconds, three reps, rest for 20 seconds, and then two reps yeah. I mean, on each side. He's shaking there. He's a little wobbly. Yeah. Things are working pretty good. They're all over the, the whole core as well as the hips. And now, arms. you can slide the leg along the floor is what they give it as a cue in here, Brad, instead mm -hmm. of just going out. Sure. You want to slide it along the floor and bring it up. But... That's just kind of getting into the minutia there a little bit. So, Ooh, good word. You know, start off again. If this is new to you, you might not be able to hold it as long, or you may want to do fewer reps. But, you know, eventually it's going to pay off, and you're going to see the differences when, you, when you're doing stuff throughout the day. You're going to have less pain. Right. Because it's going to kick in. Yep. So, all right. Anything else, Brad? No, I think you did a wonderful job on all three exercises, Bob. Oh. Again, pain-free. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, absolutely I, I, no pain. Right. I like so. the uh, whole concept of 
doing a 6-4-3, the 10-second reps, a real good system. Sure. Sounds good. Thanks for watching.